Patients around the world are experiencing failure of their treatment for scabies. In many cases, it is the result of resistance that exists in the scabies mite, resistance to the drugs that exist. In other cases, this is not so. In this video, we'll take a look at the causes of drug resistance and what is being done to counter it. Scabies, or what is known as the itch mite, is an infestation of the skin caused by the scabies mite or Sarcoptes scabii. The mite borrows its way into the skin where its secretions and its excrement cause intense itching, leading to scratching that can break down the barrier function of the skin and permit the entrance of bacteria such as Staphylococci and Streptococci into the skin, leading to secondary conditions such as impetigo and pyoderma. The consequences of infestation in scabies are a loss in productivity, decrease in the quality of life because of the scratching and discomfort, the social stigmatization that goes with infestation in scabies, as well as development of complications, serious complications, such as sepsis, bacteria in the blood, and damage to the kidneys, glomerulonephritis, post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, which can lead to blood in the urine, or rheumatic fever leading to valvular heart disease. Scabies infestations are common worldwide, but more so in the tropical areas of the world. It is estimated that about 200 million people suffer from scabies at any given time. Because of the frequency and the high incidence of this disease, and the frequency with which we treat these infestations with medications that are available, there is a growing incidence of drug resistance in the scabies mite. Although drug resistance has been reported for drugs such as permetrin and ivermectin and lindane and crotamiton, the most common cause of apparent resistance, failure of treatment with persistence of symptoms, is in fact the inappropriate use of the medication and non-compliance with treatment, as well as the inability of the drug to penetrate the thicker layers of skin caused from hyperkeratization caused from the infestation with the mite. Patients also may suffer reinfestation from close contacts or from their environment. Inappropriate decontamination of furniture and of objects of contact is a key reason for apparent resistance, failure of treatment that may simulate drug resistance. Scabies is treated with a variety of drugs around the world. Topical drugs include sulfur compounds, benzyl benzoate, alatrin, theobendazole, crotamiton, monosulfiram, malathion, lindane, and permetrin. The only available oral agent for the treatment of scabies is ivermectin. One natural product that is used to treat scabies for which so far there has not been any reported incidence of resistance is tea tree oil. And one study has shown the tea tree oil is even more effective than permetrin and ivermectin. Faced with the rising incidence of resistance among scabies mites, there is a need for development of new treatments, new therapies, and consequently, development is taking place in new drugs, drugs that control the growth of insects and natural products and vaccinations. Experimentation is taking place with vaccinations. 
One very promising drug that is of the same class as ivermectin, only with a longer half-life and more effective, is moxidectin, which has already been approved for the treatment of river blindness and has so far been found to be safe. We should expect to see moxidectin introduced as a treatment for scabies sometime in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, share it with your friends and family and support the channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.